Hello everyone, welcome to my astrology channel. Today I will be reading another horary chart for you. So today we will do another relationship chart and I hope uh, you find it beneficial for you. And if you like my channel and my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. And at the same time, I teach horary astrology. So if you want to get a class with me, you can just text me on my Instagram account, Solak underscore. Or if you want to get a session or a session or a natal chart reading, you can just con contact me there. So let's start the chart. I'm going to share my screen with you. So today we'll, we, are, we will be discussing if this relationship healthy or not. So Quarant is asking about if he should continue the previous relationship. We see that the 13 degrees Libra, 59 minutes rising. So in each chart, in every horary chart, Quarant is always represented by ascendant ruler. So we go to the Venus and Venus is at 17 degrees Aries, 40 minutes in the seventh house of spouse. Okay, so first of all, we start with the essential dignities because essential dignity show us how this person feels and how this person acts right now. And obviously, this Venus is in detriment. And when a planet is in detriment, it says that this planet is not happy because the conditions are not useful for him. It means that maybe this person is asking himself that, what am I doing in this relationship? And the question is already about that, like, is it a healthier relationship? Plus, when you are in the seventh house of spouse, it's like you are far away from your own center and you are so concerned about the other person. But at the same time, when you do that, you lose your self-importance because you are so into the other person and it's a weakness so this person cares about the other person but at the same time while he's really into the spouse he doesn't feel well he doesn't feel like himself because oh, obviously aries is not a convenient sign for venus it's the land of mars and Venus is not happy in Aries because Venus likes to be in Libra. Venus likes to share, likes to do things together. But Aries is not Venusian at all. And so when a planet is in detriment, the capability of the planet really decreases. It's like it's very hard for this planet to fulfill its promise. Therefore, we can say that Yes, this person is very concerned about the uh, your friend, but at the same time, the things are not working out for him. So after we're done with the query, let's go to the question, and we're going to analyze Mars. And Mars is at 21 degrees, Gemini 28 minutes. And, I, and let's see if Mars has any dignity here. And Mars, at this degree, doesn't have any dignity and also uh, debility. So Mars is peregrine. So when a planet is peregrine, it means that it doesn't have any responsibility in the sign. So this Mars doesn't know anything about what to do. Plus, it's in a cadent house. It's in the ninth house. So uh, when a planet is peregrine, we can't really expect much to do from that planet because it's obviously doesn't have much power to make it uh, make it out something. Plus the cadency. So it's one of the worst things a planet can have. Um, Ibn Ezra says three three worst things that planet can have is one of them is uh, one of them is cadency. Second. 
second is combustion, and the third one is retrogradation. So Mars has one of them, Mars is Caden. And when you are Caden, it's like a dead man at home. It's like no motion, no, no uh, action. It's kind of like a passive uh, factor. <clears throat> so therefore, if we expect anything from the spouse, and spouse is peregrine, which means has no power in herself to make these things out uh, or acting in a beneficial way. At the same time, this planet is cadent. So the out, uh, environmental circumstances are not really supporting as well because the terrestrial testimony is about the environmental stuff and ninth house is a beneficial house, benefic house. But if only the planet has a dignity, so this Mars doesn't have dignity, so we can't say that nine house would support the president at all. We can say that maybe this person is emotionally uh, away or not emotionally accessible or uh, the attitude of this person not really satisfying the equivalent at all. Plus, when we look at the seventh house, there's a Jupiter at the castle of the seventh house, and this Jupiter ruling the sixth house of Quesadet, sorry, Quarant, and the twelfth house of Quesadet, if we use derived houses. So twelfth house is about like our self undoing, like the things that we do harm ourselves. Uh, it can be like um, I don't know, maybe like anger issues or uh, bad habits, maybe like addictions or uh, some some attitudes that we don't really appreciate. Because twelfth house is the shadow, is the place that we don't have any control. Since then. Maybe the spouse having some uh, behaviors that uh, doesn't look really good in the relationship, doesn't help you for the relationship. So maybe these are the reasons that Quarant is uh, confused if it's a healthy relationship or not. Okay, the third thing we always do is to check moon. And moon is in... Virgo in the 11th house. And since this chart is a uh, nocturnal chart, Moon has tripestive ruler in Earth element. So this Moon has tripestive ruler. And it's in the 11th house of hopes and fulfillment of desires. So maybe this person who asked the question is still trying to make things work like at least he's hoping but let's see if it's gonna work out because um now we need to check the aspects since venus is really in a really shit shape we need to have uh, the other supporting factors in the chart and then we look at the chart so Venus is going to make an aspect. Let's see if it's the first aspect with the Mars. Yes, it is. There's going to be a sextile between Venus and the Mars. However, um, the sextile aspect, one of the good aspects, uh, it's not strong as much as trines, but still it's good. But when you have sextile, it's kind of like once your effort at the same time, and obviously, this person is not really feeling well to put any effort. And when we look at Mars, Mars' next aspect is going to be a square with Neptune. And Neptune is another confusion. And it's going to be a square, so it's a really hard aspect. And when there is Neptune, uh, our spouse is going to like headshot to Neptune and... Uh, Neptune is all about illusion, delusion, lies, or maybe giving him more confusion and not, not seeing things clearly or acting in a negative way uh, that uh, Quarant doesn't really enjoy. 
and also neptune is about dissolving like maybe this person cannot really connect with the uh querents maybe cannot really get the points uh all everything is like around in the air like not settling down since we have a square between neptune and mars and the moon's next aspect is going to be with the sun and oh wow it's going to be a full moon and it's going to be an opposition so antiquity says that if the planet is making an opposition with the sun it's not a good testimony it's obviously not because you don't want to be opposite with the sun it's a weakness and also a full moon is kind of like completion like to to end something like it's done um and it's obviously saying that even though um they might try to get along like maybe this person says it's, it's a sextile aspect uh gonna happen uh between mars and venus maybe this person might have put a little bit of effort to um make things work but it's not gonna really last long okay so um what else let's check what else we can say about this chart uh let's check if they have any additional contradiction uh, no for mars it will be nine cancer nine capricorn no for venus 13 uh, Virgo, 13, Pisces, no. For the moon, 22, 23, Aries, 22, Libra, no, 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 no. There is no addition or contradiction. Let's see if it's, if there is anything on the declination. So we have Neptune, Jupiter, uh, there is Sun and Venus, uh, Mercury, Saturn, Saturn. Not really a convenient one. Pluto, Mars is out of bones. Yeah, okay. Not really so specific things. Okay, yeah. So, um... What happened after this chart? We, we analyzed this chart. We already talked about the same things that we did. Uh, what happened is after like a couple of weeks, they broke up. They couldn't make it. And it was like a five years relationship. It was a long-term relationship. But obviously, uh, it was like the end of the relationship. And even though uh, they tried to make things work, it didn't work out. So uh, now the boy is with another person. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy this chart. So if you have any questions, you can leave the comment down below. Uh, actually, I want to talk about this out of bones Mars. So it also showing another testimony that so when planets are out of out of bones, it's kind of like an extreme thing. So since this Mars is in the ninth house, like a cadent house, it's peregrine, it's like I already said that maybe emotionally not available. At the same time, it's like out of bones. It can be really hard to communicate, like hard to reach that person because uh, there can be some extreme stuff. At the same time, the 12th house uh, emphasize uh, is also in the uh, 12th, house, 12th house stuff is also on the seventh house. So probably the president acting very abnormal way that cannot um, make this work out. Okay, so this is a chart. I hope you like it. Uh, if you like it, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. And as I said, if you want to learn astrology like horary, you can get a private class with me. Or you can get a session. If you have any questions, you can just connect, contact me from my, on my Instagram account.
っていう。